Capos, Costa Rica. One more day, one more shot. The big world of big game fishing is on full display with competitors from all sides of the planet trying to win that coveted championship ring. It's the fourth and final day of the 2022 Costa Offshore World Championship presented by Continental. Here we go. This is the 2022 Costa Offshore World Championship presented by Continental. We are here in Capos, Costa Rica on the country's Central Pacific side for one of the biggest tournaments in all of fishing. Welcome to the final day of competition. A look at the leaderboard going into day four, the OWC champions from 20 years ago in pole position with the Brazilians less than 60 points behind. But we've got Croatia, Costa Rica, Barbados, and Kenya in the hunt. All right, Jen, why don't you walk us through the rules? You got it, Sean. The OWC follows International Game Fish Association rules. The anglers must bite and land their own fish. No live bait, only dead bait and lures. Each team is on a different boat every day to even the playing field. The fishing boundary is a maximum of 45 nautical miles from the marina, and there must be video verification of every patch and release. It's our final morning in Marina Pez Vela as day four gets underway. You gotta think there's anxiety, tension, anticipation on the docks as they get ready to head out. As we head into this final day, the top three teams are literally less than one sailfish release apart. And one Dorado, one tuna could make the difference in this tournament. It's really tight. It can come down to the last minute, the last bite, the last hookup, and the last catch. As they say in sport, it's not over till it's over. In case anybody's interested. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Day four. Lines in, lines in. Let's start at the top of the leaderboard. The former OWC champions are hooked up just 18 minutes past the line's in call. Jesse Rudolph, tight on a sail, call it 200. The first Marlin Florian Vizier ever caught was a 380 pound black, so we think he's up to this task. It's the first blue Marlin of day four, cut the leader, and that's 500 for the Kenyans, which moves them into fourth place. Here's a team we haven't called on in a while, Team Giricic from Croatia, hooked up to a sale looking to add 200 points to their total. All right, 17 seconds later, and angler Steve Harries is releasing the Kenyan's second blue of the morning. They've racked up 1,000 points in the past 25 minutes. Yeah, good enough to push them into third place. Big game Camisa. These three Italians were the big story of day three, racking up 2,400 points. With this sale, they take back third place. The OWC action continues after the break, where we also get a glimpse into the making of the championship ring. Welcome back. 
Jewelry designer Mark Lloyd has been making the Offshore World Championship ring since 2009, and we had the opportunity to learn how he creates it. As it turns out, the road to becoming a champion starts in Lloyd's design studio in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And these fellas want that ring. Team Giracic has been hanging tough all week. And now angler Boris Gruka is about to add 500 points to their total with this nice blue. You can really sense something special is happening with this Watamu team, Sean. Watamu now with their third blue marlin of the morning. Save that footage, boys. You're gonna want that at the judges table later today. Incredible. Eight minutes after their last release, another blue marlin for the team, another 500 points for angler Steve Harris. The team from New Smyrna Beach says we will not be outsailed. They remain in the pole position on the leaderboard. John Lloyd on the rod. There's a release and 200 points. Yes, sir. Once again, Giracic, the winners of the qualifying event in Croatia. This team is making things happen on day four. Double sail, call it 400. Starting the day in second, Torneo de Pesis de Bico 2021. Add another sail to the list for this team. The Brazilians are not giving up. Yeah. If they can release it, the captain's gonna be calling in another sail for this five-man team from Florida. The champs from 20 years ago looking for another sail. And the release, call it 200. Watamu well, Fishing Festival battling their sixth blue of the morning. Flooring busy air on the rod. If all the video verification holds up, it's a 3,000 point morning for the gentleman from Kenya. It's been a blue blitz for Watamu Fishing Festival, rocketing to first place, pushing down the champs from 20 years ago, followed by the Brazilians, Big Game Kumiza, and Giracic. When we come back, more catches, more releases, and a quick tour of Marina Pesvela. Welcome back to the Offshore World Championship. 
It wasn't that long ago that Marina Pesvela wasn't a marina at all. Today, it's a world-class destination and the entry point to great billfishing. After all, Pesvela is Spanish for sailfish. We're right here in the Pacific Central Coast of Costa Rica, on the Pacific Coast, about halfway between north and south in the country. We're one of five great marinas that exist in this country. We're in Capos, which is really close to the National Park, which is Manuel Antonio National Park. Our situation here is wonderful. The destination's great. We're a 200-slip marina. We've been in operation for the last 15 years. We have a fully operating yacht yard here. We have a 200-ton travel lift for folks who like to take their boat out of the water and do some work and we have probably about 50 or 60 really top-notch charters to do some amazing sports fishing here in Costa Rica. Let's take a quick look at our Garmin chart view. While the early days of the tournament saw the boats huddled around the Furuno Bank, one of Costa Rica's best-known fishing areas, today the boats are spread among four fishing spots within the OWC's 45 nautical mile fishing zone. Furuno Bank, the 26, Ponderosa, and the corner. Get it, John? Good thing they're a five-man team, Jen, because the 2002 OWC champs have got a triple going. Frank Schaff, John Lloyd, and Jesse Rudolph are hooked up. 600 points if they can get the release for all three. Let's go, baby. Happy men on the rod. Got him. Hold on, video. Triple, baby, let's go! A truly stunning showing by Kenya's Watamu. Florian Bizier with another blue, their seventh as a team. That's pretty decent, right, Cap? Seven blues in one morning? That's freaking amazing. Team Garicic will not go gently. Gruka getting it done. The team's fourth sale of the morning. They're currently in fifth and fighting their way to the championship podium. And it's Soares with the sail. Yep, the Brazilians dominated the leaderboard for the first two days. They started today in second place. Give them the 200, Jen. They've earned it. There it is. I'm getting exhausted calling on this team, Jen. Big game camisa. With all these blues around, Sean, it looks like they've changed up their tactics and switched to lures to try to get some more points on the board. But only a sail here. Hey, whatever it takes to win. While Dorado don't pack the point punch of a blue marlin, every point is critical. This one might just barely make the weight minimum of 25 pounds. Looks like the strategy change might pay off for Camisa team. Boy, that boat backing up, that's a dramatic shot. That blue, 500. Incredible jump. <laughs> And it's Giricic with the Pez Vela. This team is on the move with a half day of fishing to go. Can they keep up this pace? If they can, Sean, that might land them in the top three. The Italians keeping the pressure on. Another 400 points on the line if they can get it with this double. I think I need more Comisa in my diet, Jen. <laughs> hey, I'm not kidding. I want to fish with these dudes. You know it's a good sign when the mates are pumped. It's high noon on day four. Three and a half hours of fishing left in the 2022 Costa Offshore World Championship presented by Continental. When we return, a champion will be crowned.
three and a half hours of fishing remain in the 2022 Costa Offshore World Championship presented by Continental. Can you feel that? The anticipation, the excitement? We certainly can, and we are down to the wire. Let's check in with the OWC champs from 2002. Looks like it's another sale for this team, clawing their way back towards Watamu Fishing Festival, whose Marlin Rally has pushed the new Smyrna crew into second. Let's go, Scotty! Team Giracic, Bosco, Sale. This release makes it five sales and one blue on the morning for the Croatian qualifying team. Jen, if they land this fish, it will be Team Watamu's eighth blue of the day, 4,000 points in four hours. That's some strong angling, Sean. If all the video holds up, this will set a daily record for the tournament. Bosco landed the last sail. Now you're up, Boris. Looks like 200 points coming down the pike for Team Giracic. Oh, he's taking off the hat. It's serious, folks. We are down to minutes before the lines out call. But any tournament angler will tell you, these events are won and lost in those final seconds. The new Smyrna Beach team is stuck in second place, and this sale isn't enough to save them. They're roughly 300 points behind the Kenyans with 12 minutes left before the lines out call. Just moments before lines out, the Italians are making a strong final push. Another sail, another 200, but will it be enough? That's it, lines out. This fish was on before the call, so the sail represents the final points of the 2022 OWC and a 1900 point day for big game Camisa. Eight blue marlin in four hours, the hottest blue marlin bite in the history of the tournament. Pending video verification of all the releases, Watamu Fishing Festival will be your 2022 Offshore World Champions. Very, very, very lucky day. I mean, we had the boat, we had the captain, we had the guys actually were absolutely fantastic. And we done all type of fishing that we do in Kenya. And it was absolutely amazing. I mean, how lucky we are. I mean, he found the right spot. It's etched in stone. Watamu Fishing Festival wins it all. From sixth place at the end of day three to rocketing up the leaderboard to win the 2022 OWC. The awards ceremony celebrated a spectacular week, Jen. That's right, Sean. A total of 673 billfish have been released this week, including 606 sails, 65 blues, one black, and a stripe. And the third place winners, Girichich 2021. <laughs> Second place, the 2002 OWC champions. And your 20
2022 Offshore World Champions, Watamu Fishing Festival. Trophies awarded, bragging rights earned, champions crowned.